I'm here with Jim Arndt, assistant professor at CCU in the art department and curator of the Bryan Art Gallery, where we are for, for the faculty triennial, that's once every three years, uh, exhibit, which is opening today and Tuesday. It's going to be a uh, reception on Thursday afternoon at 4.30. So tell us uh, a little bit about the exhibit, Jim. Well, what's interesting about a faculty triennial is it really brings together artists who are normally busy showing their artwork throughout the country. And so we have a chance now here to harvest the professors that are at Coastal and bring them all together so that we can see the different types of artwork that they're currently engaged in. We do this every three years to provide our students with an insight into how their professor's studio practice works. That way, on the course of their education, they can make sure to see their professor's work at least once. So what we have on display are many different types of techniques by the prestigious professors who teach here at Coastal. We have works in sculpture, works in painting, works in printmaking, and works in more uh, contemporary materials like 3D printing. So there's a little bit of variety to technique, there's a little bit of something for everyone, and it's a really beautiful show that we like to bring to our community. And how many professors participated? The work on display represents the work of 20 practicing professors. And so in addition to their teaching duties, they're expected to be professional artists. And so this is a sampling of the 20 individuals' work on display. Well, let's pull out a few of the, uh, few of the exhibits and just highlight them. Our visiting professors, like Brian Rapp, bring new ideas to the program. Brian's work is figurative and deals with human ailment and uh, our abilities to move. He's an artist who's personally struggled with some physical ailments and disabilities, and that's reflected in the works of art that he brings. Professors like Jeffrey Case are experimenting with three-dimensional modeling and printing techniques. And so a lot of newer technologies and newer ideas about how artwork should be made are being explored. Now, if you come to the reception, you can listen to Professor Taylor discuss the relationship between these two painted images, and maybe he'll be willing to share with you the story of the tooth and the girl. Please join us Thursday at 4.30 for a reception where you can meet many of the artists and ask them about the artworks on display. It will be free, and we'll have some refreshments available.